Welcome to the video store. So, you are looking to rent a movie, are you? Is there anything particular that you're interested in? Something creepy? Mm -hmm. Well, I just got this one in. This is a ghost story by John Arwin, starring Melvin Douglas, Fred Astaire, Douglas Fairbanks Jr., John Houseman, Patricia O'Neill, and Craig Wasson. <coughs> What's it about? Uh, a, a club of old gentlemen who is haunted by a sin from their past. Sounds a little bit boring. If you can smoke, sure. Well, I got this one, I guess, would work, maybe. You mean it's too old? Are you sure? Okay. Fine. This one is a pretty creepy one. The comeback, it's... Uh, let me see here, it has ghosts, some kills, stars, uh, Pamela Stevenson, David Doyle below, when it's directed by Pete Walker. You think that sounds interesting? Yeah, it got some cool scenes, you know. How about some action then? We got this one, it's a karate spy. It's Freeze Bomb and it stars like uh, George Lazenby who played the game. You don't like Bond or spy movies. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see here. Uh, this one is new. It's uh, uh, Image of Death. It stars uh, Bruce, well, it stars Cheryl Waters, Tony Bond. What do you mean it looks like a TV movie? <clears throat> you are pretty pleased, it's hard to please. Well, okay, it's not a bestseller. How about this one then? This one is a, this one you have to rent. It's Jack Palance, uh, Diana Doors, Susie Kendall. It's craze. It's really hilarious and it's directed by, I don't know, it's produced by Herman Cohen. But it's uh, Jack Palance get a hold of this African fetish statue and he goes berserk you want that one cool i will put that over here something else more horror okay well i do have a little bit of a different horror movie i guess this is ss experiment love camp <clears throat> And uh, yeah, this is about atrocities committed during World War II on females in a concentration. You don't like that kind of, okay. Fine, 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 fine. Uh, let's see here. Um, then I guess this one won't be for you either. It's a women in prison movie called Hellhole about a mental institution where girls get captured and okay. Yeah, let's see here what we have. How about this one? Beyond Evil. It stars John Saxon and Linda Day George. It's got, uh, you know, ghosts and Linda Day George and he doesn't scream bastard in it. But uh, 
sounds pretty. I put this on the maybe stack though. But you want something like gory, creepy and shit like that. Okay, well I got this one. Uh, but uh, you know, uh, this is actually banned. So uh, if you're gonna rent this, keep a lid on it, okay? This is Lucio Fulci, City of the Living Dead. And uh, what kind of video do you have? There's actually ad for a new video here if you want to consider buying a new one maybe. This one is to your liking. Yeah, you got a, you got a, you got a girl puking up her own intestine and uh, stuff like that, so yeah. I put that on the stack then. Uh, anything else maybe? Well, I don't know if this is something that you would be interesting in. I mean, if you have a girlfriend and stuff like that and you maybe wanna, no, okay. More what? More horror, okay. Is that the only thing you watch? Sincerely? Okay. Well, this also is a bit a band that uh, schizoid with Klaus Kinski. No? Okay. Then how about this one? Now this one you have to keep quiet. This is also a band one. It's a Nightmare in a Damaged Brain by Romano Scavolini. If it's bloody, uh, yeah, yeah, it's bloody. And this one is actually uncut. It's really hard getting an uncut cut these days. You have to like order it from Greece. You want this one? Okay, you want all the four? Okay, I can put back Beyond Evil. Bastard, bastard. Uh, if you have anything else, uh, how about this one? Susan Swift, Beverly Ross, Guy, Guy Stockwell, The Coming. It's kind of like a witchcraft kind of movie, I think. It actually has some zombie in the end. Don't watch this movie if you're alone, it says. Are you alone? Are you lonesome tonight? Okay. Maybe you would like some... Uh, like this, The Exorcist 2, The Heretic. Yeah, it's from 1981, so it isn't that old. A couple of years. You're not keen on uh, The Exorcist, okay. This one I personally recommend. Dead and Buried by Gary Sherman. Sure. Uh, yeah. It's a zombie kind of movie. Not interested, okay. Maybe you want some uh, David Cronenberg. This is Shivers. You don't like Cronenberg. You know, I think he makes a he makes makes good movies, man. Would be bad if he like started to do like. You know, something hit me, that guy, I think when he gets older, he will start to make like all these artsy fartsy movies, you know, that will suck, but uh, 
Uh, so now it's pretty good. I heard that it's going to remake the fly. How about... Uh, I don't know, dude. How about... Uh, maybe... Like some uh, Roger Diodato house at the edge of the park. Oh, you watched Cannibal Holocaust, but this is this isn't a, that bad, man. Like this isn't really okay. Fine. Okay, so uh, you want craze? City of the Living Dead, a nightmare. Would you like something else that's in some action? Okay. Well, I got Umberto Lenzi's Brothers Till We Die. A pretty cool cop movie. No, okay, okay, fine. Also have uh, One Just Man. It's also Umberto Lenzi with Thomas Milley and Ailes of Cop. This one looks interesting. Yeah, I think it's a decent watch. I wanna run it. Okay, put it on your. And remember to rewind. Uh, okay, another action movie. Yes, I'm going back over here just. Okay, I found two more for you. Uh, how about Bud Spencer, Flatfoot? Oh, you love Bud Spencer. Yeah, same here. It's really fun. So you want this one then. Then I have another one, the Bermuda Triangle. It's kind of like an action adventure mixed with a little bit of horror. Not that one, okay. Well... I guess we only have stuff to. I'm just writing down what you want. Do you have an ID? Let me see. Okay. Well, uh, remember to rewind the movies, as I said. And uh, if I have cigarettes. Uh, sorry, I'm actually out of cigarettes at the moment. I I'm waiting for a new delivery. Uh, there is a, there's a, uh, like a tobacco store down the street, so you can get some there, I think. All right, uh, have a nice evening and a nice weekend, and I hope that you enjoy your movies. And welcome back on Monday to return them. Yeah, have a nice evening.